Hello again, everybody. Um, we're back for episode number 12 of Pokemon Violet. Uh, in the last one, we made our way through the Ground Titan Iron Tusk, and then we made our way to Nadali to take on <clears throat> the most boring man ever, Larry, and the normal gym, and we were victorious. Um, both of those were not without struggle, but we were able to pull it off. Okay, so the plan for this one, I have a couple options. I could go take on the Team Star Base, um, which I feel like might be the good thing to do. You know what, I'm just going to do that, because I haven't done a new Team Star Base yet, uh, or in some time, because um, I only have one Titan left, I have three gems left, and I still have three team star bases to do. Hmm. I'm hoping that the fact that it's poison will actually give Spot something to do. Um, but it's it's possible that we may end up also finding our sixth and final team member in this episode. Um, Honestly, it might surprise some of you who I have chosen. Um, this Pokemon is a typing that I don't hold in all that high regard. It was just a Pokemon I have never used before. And I was like, why not? So. What is this, the Midnight Form? Is that what it's called? A Lycanroc? Or something like that. Okay. Spot is huge. Like the way he takes up the whole map or the whole screen. I, I love it. But I really need to improve his move set. Let's see what I have. There's another move it needs to learn by TM that I missed when I was searching for all the TMs. Hold on a moment. Um, I might take a second just to see where that is. Um, okay, so it seems like you find the thing. Actually, let me just make it to the Pokemon Center. And then we'll figure out where the Pokemon Center is. Oh, it's up there. Um, you find the TM that's kind of up near Alfernada. Oops. Every time these wild Pokemon, man. Um, seen that fight for a giraffe's ability, Armor Tail. Popped up, but I don't know what it does. Against priority moves. Okay, so, um... Doug Trio tried to use Sucker Punch and it didn't work. That's actually a pretty decent ability. But I think I might go try and run and find this TM because it's going to improve uh, Spot's usefulness and then we'll come back. Um, I don't think this will take me long. But you find it kind of like... Ba -da -da -da. Um, it's here-ish. Actually, it's right on this thing. So let's see if I can even get there. Um, again, when I actually come to the gym in Alfernada, I'm going to go through the route and through the cave properly and challenge the trainers. Um, I just apparently have needed the spot for a couple things. 
Like, when I got my uh, wraith to evolve into a Cerulege. You know how long I actually spent? I, I cropped so much out of that footage, but the amount of time I actually spent hunting Sinistee, it was a long time. I don't know how I'm going to make it up here. I guess I have to go around. I really don't want this to take very long. Mudsdale. You know you're in a higher level area when you start seeing, yeah, like Altaria, when you start seeing a whole bunch of evolved Pokemon. Um, can I make it up? Oh, we're close. I wonder if this is flat enough. Not quite, not quite, not quite. No, don't fall! How far up is this? There we go. Oh no! Yeah, there it is. It's this one. Hyper voice! So this is going to be a special stab move. Or my um for spot let me find it it's entirely possible i could have already made this thing um but i felt this was easier let's get rid of stomp i know stomp flinches but it's just not all that useful for it to have physical moves. Let me just quickly check if there's anything else I can learn. Um, I think I might teach it Swift for now, just for another special stab move. Um, but out of these moves, the only one that I'm actually planning on it to have um, at the end is Hyper Voice. Uh, but there's another TM move. Oh, hi, Altaria. There's another TM move that I want it to learn that I can't access yet. Um, I have to get past the whole mountain place first. And then um, and then a couple other moves it learned just by leveling up. But let's take on the uh, poison place because I need to make some good story progress I hope that we can do more than just this in this episode this episode might be a bit shorter too because I actually have somewhere to be pretty soon um, but we'll see how much I can get done alrighty it's Clive <clears throat> Alex, I haven't had a, I haven't had to do his voice in a while. Alex, hmm. Hey, Director Clavel. <laughs> As I told you, the name's Clive. Please don't forget it. Now let's pick up our conversation from where we left off before. As I mentioned, I joined Operation Starfall to resolve a sticky situation and to find out the reasons behind Team Star's odd behavior. Above all. I want to know why the students in Team Star have stopped coming to school. And just like Cassiopeia, I want the team to disband for good. Since joining Operation Starfall with you, I've already had some success in opening up a dialogue with Team Star. And I think I'm starting to understand things more clearly. But I don't have enough information just yet. That's why I want to speak with the students from Team Star's other squads as well. If you intend to take on another base, know that you can count on me for backup. Till then, see you around, Alex. Yeah, the base is right there. I'm going right now. Okay, so you're good against poison. Uh, this will probably be, like, Barf's last hurrah. Ooh, what am I doing? Switch. And then I'll put you up front, actually. Um, I'll leave Fume in there because it has a ground move. Also, poison can't affect steel, so yeah, that's a good idea. 
All right, here we go. Do me a favor and go home already, will you? Now, I want to see the boss of the Navi Squad take me to Don Atticus. Like I said, kid, the boss told me to not let any outsiders pass these gates. That includes you. I don't care. I'm not leaving to you. Let me talk to Don Atticus. Give me a break, you little doofus. The people over there seem to be arguing with something. What do you want to do? Um, I'll say hi. Hello. What do you want? Uh-huh. Oh, great. Here comes another rando to ruin my day. I didn't work. I didn't think grunt work for Team Star Newbies would be this much of a chore. Hold on, Mr. Grunt. I think this boy might be Alex. Wait, Alex? That kid who picked a fight with Team Star? Yes. I am, I am, I heard to take you down. Rar. <laughs> I don't know what that was. Um, I knew it. Oh boy, this ain't good. Everyone else in the base is asleep since we were up all last night playing video games. <laughs> uh, leave him to me, Mr. Grunt. I'll buy some time for you to go wake up the others. Yeah, and what's it for you? Don Atticus will be in danger if there's no one here to defend the base. I owe that man my life. He's my dear compadre. And when crisis calls, one has no choice but to rally to those close to him, no matter the cost. Yeah, I have no idea what you're on about, kid, but thanks for the big assist. Okay. All right, you villain. If you're after Don Atticus, be prepared to face my wrath. Um, yeah, sure. Bring it on. Yeah! <laughs> uh, Pokemon Trainer Yusuf, okay. Nice. Okay. That, and that hits twice? Haha, <laughs> I didn't even have to do the second one. Shrewdle. This thing is poison normal. Just such a bizarre typing. And very weak. I was probably supposed to do this base before the normal gym. But we'll see. Level 31 that thing was. I don't know. The, the Team Star squad leaders are significantly harder than the than the gyms for the most part. Yeah. Uh, I talk big, but I'm no warrior. I mean, you brought out a gulpin and a shrewdle, and I had a psychic type. Don Atticus, I'm sorry I failed you. Alex, are you alright? I was standing watch when I heard our ruckus all of a sudden. I got worried that maybe something had happened to you over here. Ah, no fair! You had backup this whole time! Is this boy one of the Academy's students? He doesn't look like he's from Team Star. You're right, I'm not a member of Team Star, but Don Atticus is my compadre. Compa I have to see him no matter what. Well, you clearly have your reasons for being here. Alex, I'd like to ask this boy some questions. You go ahead and get started on the base. Might I borrow you for a chat, my, uh, my man? Don't worry, I won't bite. Rotototo. Cassiopeia, okay. Nice work dealing with the guard. Within that base lies Team Star's poison crew, the Navi Squad. Their boss, Atticus, designs the outfits for the team. You could say he has clever hands. The guy's also a bit of, a, uh, um, of an eccentric. You can never tell what he's going to do next. So since it's beyond us to predict how he'll respond to our declaration of war, just take out as many of the squad's Pokemon as you can until Otticus shows his face. It's exactly the same as the rest of them. Ring the bell in the gates once you're ready to kick off this phase of the operation. Time to wipe the Navi squad off the map. Okay. Um, three, right? And we're good. I'm gonna pick you up. I have no idea how many coins I have. <laughs> yeah. I'm hoping this whole thing goes easier than, than the fire crew one that I did. Like, I actually lost that fight. 
Although the first time I did it was before even current evolve. Um, that was a while ago now. Okay. Seems the folks behind Operation Star Fool are finally making a move against our base. You know what that means, gang. Time for us to shine bright and avenge our teammates. And hey, little intruder, just so you know, if you've got the skills to defeat 30 of our Pokemon in 10 minutes, our, vice might deem you, our boss might deem you worthy to meet in person. <laughs> Break a leg. Break a leg as if this is like a show. Team Star is so funny. This is already not working. R. R. Oh. <laughs> this mechanic is so buggy. There we go. Hmm. We have like evolution stuff this time too. I see a Swallet. Is that what Shrewdle evolves into? I don't even know what it's called. Grafai. Oh, it's like an eye eye. Those animals are really cool. Um, Varum. Are you gonna take it out? Yeah, I have heard that before. Uh, missed the room here. Okay, where are we going? Why do I not see any other Pokemon? Okay, here we go. My own Varum, I keep thinking, is one of theirs. Isn't there an item over here? I'm not crazy, am I? I saw an item, right? Oh, maybe one of my Pokemon picked it up and I just didn't see. Why do I feel like the Pokemon are so much more difficult to find? Okay. Amoongus! Fungus Amoongus. Let's, let's try this again. Are you going to pick up the item? I guess not. Oh, I guess I can't pick up items um, until I'm actually doing the base, like actually come into the base after I'm done the boss fight. One more. We are good. Nice. I even got a 31st kill in there. Uh, he's way above our level, I gotta get the boss. Let's see how this fight goes. <clears throat> Don S is my favorite. Don Atticus. Bum 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 Dee 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 dee, why is the screen black for this long? There we go. <clears throat> Pray forgive my sudden entry, tis I, Atticus. You're that scoundrel, Alex, I take it. You have some nerve bearing your fangs at Team Star. Come then, villainous wretch, a plunge into grim poison shall be a well-deserved fate. On guard! I like the like medieval esque of this guy. It gives him character. And it's taking forever to load again. Okay. You are challenged by Atticus of Team Star. You are immune to psychic. Mm, not what punishment awaits thee, Ratch, a plague on your house. Well, that's annoying. Let's see how Hyper Voice does, I guess. Oh, I hate that. This is not a good start. OK. 
Okay, but I think we'll be okay. Why wouldn't you use a dark move? Um, certain moves can poison with a mere grace. Tremble. Scoundrel. In the Pokemon of... I didn't, I didn't catch the rest. Okay. One down. I think he has four. Instead of two like the other ones did. Uh, I don't switch. Grab a room. Uh, okay, do I switch now? Or do I... Let's go with Wraith. Because fire is good against steel, right? Although, maybe I should have saved him for, like, the bigger river room. Eh, whatever. We're here now. That's a dark move. Ay. You know what? I'm just going to burn it. If I survive. Um, and this should help the rest of my team. With this thing. I forget what burn secondary effect was. Does it does it lower your defense? I don't remember exactly. And then a one lowers your like parallax process lowers your speed. I think burn lowers your defense and poison lowers your attack. I'm 100% certain about the paralysis. The other two I'm not quite as certain on. Um, okay. Let's go, Bar. This is probably the last big fight he's going to be used in. It's been fun. It's just very weak. I mean, its defense is okay. Interesting! I mean, that was 4x, 4x power, and I think Burn does lower its defense, so... Muck. No. Now, I don't think Terastalizing is necessarily worth it, because then it loses its resistance to poison. Or does Ground... I'm gonna do it. I think Ground versus Poison. Last big fight for 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 our Claude Sire here. It's been so much fun. And you know what? If my last party member doesn't exactly work out, and I have to bring Claude Sire back, I'm okay with that. I just I'd be doubling up on on poison, but that's okay. Yeah, see, it's uh, that helps with its flinched. One thing Claudster does have going for it is its defense is pretty good. But yeah, see, it's not the strongest. Mm. I was like, should we put to Toxic Spikes? Stupid, they're all poison types. And we've established that the Starmobile cannot take... Um, Uh, cannot be status conditioned. Okay, this is slow. Oh my god! Did he lower my accuracy and I missed it? I think he might have. This is painful. Okay, one more time and then we're switching. No, I can't deal with this anymore. I'm sorry, Claude Sire. Let's do you, because you have a ground move. Hehehe, <laughs> I don't get affected by that, because I am Steel-type. No! <laughs> I did not mean to do that. 
Try not to use bulldoze. Da, da, da. Oh, again with this accuracy lowering. Ay, 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 ay. Okay, good. This muck is annoying. Oh, it's still hit. Okay, well, um, my action has been lowered twice. Is it worth trying to screech? Um, oh, you're actually, no, it's not, because it's gonna miss. I'm not even confident I'm gonna survive one hit. Oh, okay. Oh, and I still hit. Nice. Oh yeah, it's just poison. It's not steel poison. Okay. Um, I think if I put Claude Sire back in, it should absorb those. Nah, here it's missing now. Mm. I'm gonna put in spot because it's already poisoned. So the toxic spikes won't matter. And hopefully I can get at least one hit off. Okay, once. Okay, you did your job, Spot. Thank you. Did I survive? I mean, it doesn't matter, but still. Um, when you're when you're badly poisoned, like from toxic or whatever, it uh, let's use current. Mm, let's use barf. Um, if you're badly poisoned, like from Toxic, if you uh, switch out and come back in, it resets the timer. Oh, I'm still terastalized? Oh, I did not expect that. That's annoying. I didn't realize that if you terastalize and switched your Pokemon out and brought him back in, it'd still be terastalized. Because I was like, this is going to absorb the toxic spikes. Oh well. Again, with this, these, like, these boss fights taking my entire team to kill them. Um, I'm avoiding dab as much as I can because grass is not good against poison. Like before Fairy came in, it was the only thing that uh, gra that poison was super effective against. Okay, we just gotta be able to hit once after this. Oh, okay. That did not do very much damage at all. Okay, the last like two gym. Uh, actually, the water gym. Iron Tusk, the normal gym, and this, I went through my whole team and I had to use Current at the end just to like sweep through the rest of it. Current is probably my best Pokemon. Forgive me, my friends. Oh no, Atticus. About a year and a half ago. Forgive me. It took a goodly time to produce the required materials. Whoa, sick! These boots are insane! Ah, oh, yes, the move Flame Charge was my muse for those particular pieces. I guess that's why his Reverend room knows Flame Charge. Um, this outfit is everything I imagined it would be. Thank you so much! 
I merely wish to create a costume worthy of your great infernal of the great infernal Eri. If it aligns with your vision, then I am content. <clears throat> Seems our, outf our, our outfit upgrades are wrapped up then. Thanks a ton, Atticus. With you two looking like absolute beasts, anyone who crosses us will be sweating bullets. Oh, you're so good at uh, these sorts of crafty things, Atticus. Those people bullying you because you geek out over old-fashioned stuff are out of their minds. The way of the ninja is rough and fraught with thorns. I never expect nor desire sympathy, symp sympathy from the unrefined rabble. Ooh, someone's getting fired up. Watch out, world. Our Atticus has fighting words. Yeah, don't listen to the haters, Atticus. I think you're really cool. All right, gang, let's move on to the next step. It's time to put our backs in our battle training so we're all prepped for Operation Star. We gotta be stronger than everyone else in the team. That's what being a boss means. Indeed it does. Henceforth, I will devote myself, heart and soul, to honing my battle skills. And then you lose to me, because I am the best. <clears throat> for the sake of the team, I would give my very heart and soul, but I cannot defy the rules. Our code must be obeyed. And so this badge is mine to keep this badge is mine to keep no more. I entrust it to thy care. Thank you. We did it. Take this contraption too. It contains a technique uh, that allows one to cover their foes in gunk. Um I don't think that's worth it. Um for Rev of Rome, but anyway. Alex is thy name, is it not? You have utterly bested me, but thy victory stirred no bitterness within me. Such was its brilliance. Don Atticus! M my compadre. <laughs> He's actually his compadre, I love it. Um, it seems this little fella has been dying to speak with you face to face. Don Atticus, please hear what I have to say. I only need a moment. Whatever brought you all the way here? I came to help you. If you don't start going to class again, you'll be expelled from the academy, right? Uh, when the other kids at school... Uh, oh, this is Atticus. Nope. When the other kids at school and I were getting bullied real bad, you and the rest of Team Star saved us. Thanks to that operation you carried out, we were able to go to school again. If you got expelled for being the good guys, that'd be the worst thing ever. This is so cute. Forgive me. Haven't you heard anything from the big boss? Nay, we've heard not a whisper since that fateful day. Without the big boss, Team Star cannot carry on. And without the team, the bright and merry student life we seek lies beyond our reach. We have no choice but to defend our bases till the big boss returns to us. You evidently trust this big boss of yours a great deal. Who exactly are they? In truth, not one of them has met them in the flesh. In the flesh. But by their own word, they are recluse. As with the rest of us, it would seem bullying was to blame. That's awful. Though their name and face be unknown to us, they are nothing. They are nonetheless our precious compadre. Comrade. <laughs> compadre. Comrade, it said comrade. Our only choice is to maintain our vigils from the base awaiting the day of their return. So that's why you don't go to school? But still... Don't ever think that Team Star is all you have, Don Atticus. You had a lifelong compadre in me, and don't forget it. My compadre, I owe you a great debt. <clears throat> it seems we're one step closer to the truth behind Team Star's truancy and the bullying at the Academy. But more importantly, I cannot believe I had no idea about these issues the students are struggling with. They have friendships they hold dear and reasons for acting as they do. I just couldn't see it. It's shameful how oblivious I've been. Huh. I believe Team Star to be the one and only treasure in my life. Methinks I might have been mistaken. I just got in my feels there, like it was different from like my Basta feels, but like that. Oh. This is why Team Star. Hmm. This game gets your emotions moving, man. Okay, ro -to -to -to. Alex, it's me. Atticus' star badge is yours now, then. Yep. I see. Now that its boss has been taken down, the Navi Squad's days are numbered. Now Atticus, too. 
Sorry, I've got a lot on my mind right now. So Operation Starfall, you've taken down all but two bases, so it's fair to say it's going well. This seems like a good time to let you know what we're ultimately aiming to achieve. Our final goal is to defeat the mastermind that first created the five squad bosses and created Team Star, the one they call the Big Boss. Uh, who is this Big Boss? Who knows? They control the five squad bosses from the shadows, that's all anyone can say. If we defeat this person and get them to declare the team disbanded, that'll be it for Team Star. Since the Big Boss never set up their own base and keeps the, their identity hidden, I take it they're not one for the spotlight. But once all the squad bosses are out of action, Big Boss will finally have to take the stage. Now about your reward. I'll transfer some LP over to, uh, to your phone, as promised. Nice. All this LP I've never spent. More TMs. Okay. Have your Pokémon learn strong moves so that they can continue to be used to the operation. My supply unit rep should be with you soon. <clears throat> hey, hey there, Alex. That, uh, sounded like a pretty serious phone call. Okay. Uh, I wasn't talking to you. Come on, Penny. Maridan is the best. Ah! <laughs> okay. So that mastermind you were talking about? Cassiope's mentioned them to me too. Team Star's founder, the person who's caused all kinds of misery at the Academy? If you don't take them down, I'll lose what tr tr I treasure most in the world. What do you mean? Ah, uh, no, I just... Um, you're right. You need your reward. Here, take it before I forget. Lots of Pokemon materials. Alright, well, I'll be off then. Bye, Penny. See you next time. Oh, and Alex, don't lose to those guys. I mean, I actually lost to Mela. I just, let, just let me do it again. Okay, what now? We still have some time. Tag tree thicket. Toxic spikes. Um. I think I want to go up the mountain a little bit. I don't know what I would get for going this way. Let's make our way up here. And then if I can't get up the mountain that way, then I'll come back and do the other way. But I'm not going to stop and catch things unless I find something really interesting. Flamigo, Pinaco, Psyduck. I used a Pinaco slash Fortress once. Um, I was playing, I think I was playing Soul Silver. God awful. Like, it's okay defensively, but... I mean, steel helps with bug, because it makes it resist a whole bunch of stuff. Um, it does make it fairly weak to... Uh, um, fire. But other than that... Soak is such a bizarre move. Changes me to water. I guess that would remove my stab. Oh, Pelipper. I'm sure there's some sort of, like, meta with Soak. But I don't know what it is. And it's still Caleb. Bum, ba -dum, bum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Uh, okay. I might catch one of you. Just because you're cool looking. Ah! I got it to red HP and it used a recoil move. Okay, let's try again.
Oh my god, again? <laughs> okay. That is enough of that. I am not... Oh yeah, my whole team is down. Okay, let's stop fighting things. Just make it to the Pokemon Center. What is that? I can't see that. I don't even know what it is. A fungus? Okay. Okay. I'm wasting XP for the team members that are fainted. So let's just make it to the Pokemon Center. Um, can I get there? Oh, maybe I can't get there from here. I'd have to go up through... Right, so when I was TM hunting, um, I came into this place. I uh, basically tried to go this way as well. Oh, again. Okay, enough. Let's move on. So I don't think we're going to make it here. Let's remove destination. Um, I'm going to start from here and kind of go towards the mountain. Okay. Okay. There we go. Our team is nice and healthy. All right, so we're going this way. Is that an Axew just chilling? All right, let's catch the Axew. I forgot how incredibly low uh, the capture rating for Pseudos is. That took more Pokeballs than I would have liked, and I had to use an Ultra Ball. Anyway. And did a lot of damage. The game is not doing anything. Why did you connect it? I didn't... I guess I pressed the L button. Okay. I heard that rhyme the most famous... Rhyme is a uh, gym leader. There's like a little town in the middle of the mountain. Da -da 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 -da. Be -ba -da 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 -da. Toxtricity. I guess that could be good, right? Bye bye. Da -da -da -ba -ba. That's da 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 da. Is that it? Cool. Um, who's learning Crunch? Oh! Attack like nah, and I have dark, uh, dark type Pokemon. For some reason, these flittle. I keep thinking, look like a different. Get the coloring. Let's catch a Satoddle. Yay, Satoddle! It's like such a cool design. Um, I almost picked a Satoddle for my team. But pure ice is not good, although. To be honest, the typing of the Pokemon I did choose is not much better. <laughs> if anything, it's probably worse. I mean... But... We're almost there. We should be able to find it soon. Okay, which way am I going? I think I go to the right, right? To Medali. Oh, hold on. 
Okay, but I think this way takes you to the Pokemon Center, and then you can still get up the mountain. I should check what a shiny Flittle looks like. Because I keep thinking that it's one. What's that? Is that a Snom? I really like Snom. Oops. <laughs> K.O. I've done that so many times. There's a Tinkaton! Oh, this is like the Fire Tauros! This is the first time I've seen this! I just don't know where you get it in the wild. Um... Oh, is it still fighting type? Okay, that helps me. Don't flinch me, please. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Is that another snob? I don't want to catch the snob. Trying not to hit the flittle. Okay, so this time I guess we'll swift. Oh my god, it still KO'd it. <laughs> oh boy, that thing's weak. Okay, I guess we're moving on. So the Pokemon Center in here is, I do believe, in the middle of this cave thing. Oh, come on. Item! Okay, I give up. Oh, that's a lot of snow run. Bag on, we got one from a raid. Now let's fight you! More fighting types. We like this as a psychic type. Oh, it's not gonna quite KO. Okay. <laughs> that that is. Oh, I guess it just fails. Okay. I thought it just took you out. Sift. Um, so we've been recording for almost an hour. There's probably a little bit I'm gonna cut out, but I want to make it to... Where's this gimmick cool that I hear? Yeah, here's the Pokemon Center. I want to make it to the city, and then I'll probably start the next episode with one of the gyms there. I still have to go to Alfernada. Bum, ba, da, bum, bum. Okay. But it's like, why not start the episode with a gym instead of end it? Let's get the Gimmagool. Yeah, you can still get up the mountain this way. Three extra small EXP candies, kind of useless at this point. So many Salazzle. What was called Salazzle? Sizzle, Salamander, something, something, something. Okay, I have a trainer. 
So many bagons. I, I honestly, I think it's cool how relatively common all the past gens, um, the past gen pseudos are. Gastrodon. Like, you could literally just make a team of all pseudos. Which would be amazing. You would never lose anything. I figured that wouldn't do as much. I mean, both normally effective. They're both special, and Hyper Voice has 90 base power, and Twin Beams has 40 per hit, so this is do more damage. Another Gastrodon. I mean, I could just put in, like, Dab and Flower Trick through this, but where's the fun in that? See, this is why I don't like having more than one stab... Oh, that's annoying. I don't like having more than one stab move um, per type on a Pokémon, because, like, the other move just doesn't get used very much. Oh, I'm not gonna... win. How frustrating. Fine, fine. You have invoked my rage. <laughs> Here's my grass type against your water ground. Bye bye. Ba -bum -ba -da -da. Oh, current's up to level forty. Good for good for current. We're getting stronger for sure. Um, I'm not gonna bother healing, but I'm gonna put. You need to evolve. I also need um, Wraith to level up. But I think. Wraith will do well in the mountain area because it's a whole bunch of ice Pokemon. Mm, guard Chomp again. Actually, I want to check something. For some reason, my brain is like, one of those is shiny. But I think it's just the Snow Rent. Okay. I know that Guard Chomp has, is one of the Pokemon that has shiny, like the shiny is very similar to its... Uh, it's this gen's, uh, pseudo. Cute. Frigibax. Yay! Um, I'm not using him, though, because it's too overpowered. Like, it almost feels like cheating. No. As cool as you are, I'll probably use one one day. Nice. Um, what I meant to do, though, is buy more Pokeballs at the Pokemon Center down there, and I completely forgot. Uh, okay, I gotta stop soon, but I really wanted to make it to the next city. You're not fairy type, right? So this is all useless. Yeah, plus he's just normal. It's a cool animation for takedown. I'd love to see Fume evolve. I'm pretty sure it's level 40. So we're getting there. Sword, yes! This is an excellent setup move. Um, I gotta get rid of Will-O-Wisp. I've only used it the one time. Like, not long ago in this episode, but. <sighs> but Swords Dance, 
very aggressively boosts your attack. It's quite a strong move, actually. Okay. It's been over an hour. I gotta make it to this town. Oh, another trainer. I can't... I can't not do it. I don't know why I press the A button and it just doesn't register that I'm doing anything. Ba -da 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 -da. Hmm. You know, I actually don't know what type this thing is. Is it ice? Okay. I mean, I have a lot of coverage for ice. This ice is weak to, like, everything. When I was a kid, I just always used fire against ice. Like, I would never use steel or rock or anything like that, just because I thought it was pointless. But steel is actually one of the best types in the game. Okay, let's not run into many more trainers, because I want to get there. And I'm running out of time. And I see another trainer. I can't handle this. Uh, let's try to catch the Snom first. Okay, this is like attempt number three at this. I'm gonna bulldoze, because it's not very effective. There we go. I got this one for sure. Ooh. And... I hope it's capture rating is low enough for this. I'm running out of, like, other better balls. I want to use the Pokeball. Oh, we got it! Um. So... For whatever reason, I chose my last Pokemon to be a Frost Moth. Because these are two typings that I never use because they're so bad. And I'm like, let's just combine them. Oh, I meant to nickname it. Um, goodbye, Barf. I love you. You'll be back, I'm sure. Um, I do have a nickname in mind, though. Summary. What's your nature? Raises speed, lowers defense. That shield dust ability is really good. Um, this nature is not very good. Okay, let's try to find another one, I guess. Attempt number like 60 of catching a storm. Is that a Gimmigal coin? But yeah, don't ask me why I chose Frostmoth. Um, I know it's not a Gen 9 Pokemon, it's a Gen 8 Pokemon. But I was just like, why not? It's a cute little thing, and it turns into this really cool-looking moth Pokemon. Um, there's another one. Oops, I KO'd it again. Uh, let's try again! Bulldoze. Okay, this one's defense looks like it might be higher. <laughs> But you know what? I want to use my Frost Moth once I get it against the Psychic Gym. Because having. Like, nobody ever uses Bug to counter Psychic, even though it is one of its counters. Um, I mean, if all else fails, I could definitely just switch to, to Dab and use Dark Moves. Okay, let's do this again. I mean, based on how much damage it took, I think its defense is better. But, uh, I thought it got captured. Oh, it did! Okay. 
That's a good sign. Okay, I'm gonna nickname you because this is going to be the one that has the good nature. I'm quite certain. But I have this thing. Every time I have a moth Pokemon, I name it Luna. It's like Luna Moth. What is your nature? Lowers speed. That's okay. Its speed is not very good anyway. It's only 65. Raises defense is incredible. Does it only know two moves? It only knows two moves. Wow. Okay. So this is going to be a pain to evolve, but the way you do it is it has to hit full friendship at night time. Um, so I might have to do a little bit of grinding with Snom off camera because it's going to take a long time. But yeah, this is who I am using. Um, I'm trying to make it to here before I turn off for the day. Oh no, I'm falling. I remember this was really tricky for me to find. Okay, this is where the ice gym is, um, but I'll do this later. I'm just going to get the fast travel. And heal. That's not where I'm healing. Um, I'll buy Pokeballs off camera. Okay, I hope it doesn't take me too long to get to the town. One thing- oh. Right, so Snom is very weak. I mean, I could have just caught a Frost Moth. I know you can find them in the wild around here too. But that's no fun. I can get up here. Yeah, okay. Oh. Okay, I didn't realize you could just do this the first time. Oh, that's just my internet. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. I was like, don't crash again. I forgot that I connected to the Wi-Fi without meaning to. Um, what was I saying? Snom is very weak. It's gonna it's gonna take me some time. But I didn't want to just catch a frost moth because it feels like I, I like I like evolving my playthrough Pokemon from the lowest tier. I need to heal again because Snom took too much damage in that fight. Yay! Okay, well, I'm gonna leave it there. I have other places to be today. Um, but yeah, next time we will take on the gym here and hopefully get ourselves a Frost Moth. But as always, thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll see you next time.